Welcome back to an episode of Let's Build Twitter. As always, I'm Ethan or Nakoda, and we're in episode 128. Today, we continue working on the poll logic here in the front end. Specifically, we work on being able to change the choice text inside of our post slice, as well as being able to remove the poll from a post whenever we want to. As always, if you guys do want access to the private repository, there is a link down below that tells you exactly how to do so. If you want to catch me live while I'm working on this, I'll send my streaming schedule down there as well. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the code. Today, we're going to continue working on the poll service or the poll itself let's go ahead and hop into the code and see what we can get done today i went through and edited a whole bunch of videos so hopefully i'm all caught up uh, as the holidays near closer you'll probably see this episode either on the holidays or after the holidays or around the holidays so just know that the live streams are going to slow down i'm going to have videos and whatnot but I'm, I'm not going to be able to stream to our holidays so let's hop back into our code if we come back in here generate poll if current post is undefined go ahead and activate and then we want to say else we want to put throw this in here and that will fix a problem with the air and so that's good now let's see here i think what we're going to want to do is inside of our post slice um and actually we might want to go into our our global interfaces and inside a poll itself right we're going to make this a string and this is going to break everything Let's go ahead and make this a string. And then inside a pull slice, this will be just an empty string, right? And I think that's everything. So then basically the post manager is expecting a string anyway. Uh, so we'll see if this works or not. Let's go ahead and set this stuff up. So now this should get rid of the errors. Let's go ahead and check. So if we come back in here and refresh, it's blowing me out again. Go like this. This is what Twitter actually does, by the way. So it's perfectly fine. Open that up. We go into inspect. On our console we have no errors that's all good to go awesome so now what we'd like to do is be able to like type in here and actually have this add things and then i guess we'll just not add an extra choice until we start typing into it and then we also need to fix i forgot this we need to fix this to start at day zero i just kind of or day one but have this fine that's going to also have to deal with uh, some state. Uh, so now let's go ahead and update the poll and the user types and the choices. So this is going to be, I don't want to say a difficult part, but this one's going to be a little bit more involved. We'll go into our non asynchronous thunks. So now we're going to have an update poll and this will take in state action i don't know what the action is going to be so whenever we update the poll what we're going to want to deal with is we need to know the index of the poll that we're updating and then also the choice obviously so let's go ahead and i guess let's make a new interface at the top so we'll say interface and then this will just be called update poll payload if i could type update poll payload and we can do some of the work inside the component. So what I'm thinking is we pass in an index, which is an int or not int a number. I've been doing Java and we also need the text, which would be a string. We'll actually say choice text just to make it a little bit easier. I think that's all we really need because you know which one it is. We're not going to update anything else. So now we'll come back in here and the action will be a update poll will actually have to say uh, payload action and then update poll payload whoops payload if i could type now what we want to go ahead and do is i guess we should check to see how big the array is because whenever we set it up we do go ahead and set up choice text and votes and everything so there should be at least two things in there so let's go ahead and say if and then state dot current post dot poll current post and state dot current post dot poll and then we won't do anything we'll just return state otherwise so more or less we'll only modify this if it's available so that should be fine so let's go ahead and get the choices so let choices equal to and this will equal to state dot current post dot poll dot choices and then we'll say we'll have another check we'll say if choices dot length minus one is less than action dot payload dot index so if we add a new choice and it hasn't been there yet we'll say let choice equal to and this will be a choice so we'll say, um, I guess it's called a pull choice, right? So this will just have an ID, uh, 
pull choice ID zero, and then it'll have a choice text of action dot payload dot uh, choice text. And then finally votes will just be an empty array, obviously. And then what we'll do is say choices dot push, or actually we'll say choices index is equal to, and does index not exist or something? Cannot find name index, it'll be action dot payload dot index. And this will be equal to the choice. And then otherwise we'll go ahead and do let choice equal to choices dot or choices and then action dot payload. Ooh, we need we need to make this an else. Otherwise, this will break. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is we'll say let choice of type choice equal to, and this is actually pull choice, my bad, pull choice i can't type and this will equal to choices of action dot payload dot and then index so get the choice choice is equal to dot 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 choice and then we're gonna say whoops and we're gonna say choice text is equal to action dot payload dot choice text all right, and then we need to go ahead and say uh, choices and then index or action.payload.index. Action.payload.index is equal to this new choice. And then we'll go ahead and set the state. We'll say state is equal to, although we need to set everything, don't we? So we need to reset the poll. We need to reset. So we're going to have to say let poll equal to and then we're gonna say state.currentPost.pull and then choices. So then after we do this, so I'm gonna say poll is equal to dot, 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 poll. And then we're gonna say choices is equal to choices. And finally, we'll say state is equal to, um, although we need to set the current post now. So now we'll say, um, this is kind of annoying let post equal to state dot current post so now we need to say post is equal to dot 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 and then post i don't know why i won't let me just do post please and then um we'll say poll we'll update the poll and finally we'll say state is equal to dot 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 state comma and we're going to say current post is equal to post. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna update the poll, update the post, or actually update the choices, update the poll, update everything else. So where's the error at? Um, whoops, do that. Okay, I kinda wanna go ahead and say console.log all of this. So console.log, and we'll say the choices, right? And then we'll say choices, because we have all of these saved. Console.log, we'll console.log the poll, and we'll do the poll, we'll console.log, and we'll console.log the um, post, current post, and post. And let's go ahead and copy this, and let's move it down so we can actually see this. And we can also go ahead and make sure state looks good. Console.log state and then let's add a space there and then state so let's make sure that everything got updated so let's just add spaces here to make it look prettier but i believe that's everything we need in the post slice let's scroll down to the bottom and go ahead and uh update poll like so and then inside of our uh feed post creator poll what we'll go ahead and do const and updates uh, choice text this will be equal to and we're taking an e react dot change event on an html input element i believe that should be illegal and we'll do this so now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to get the index so we'll say const index is equal to e dot target dot id Right, so we'll get the index. Well, 
We also need to split this. The ID looks like this. So the ID is here, choice, colon, dollar sign, index. So we need to get the index. So we're going to say e.target.value. Dot, and we're going to go ahead and split it. And we're going to split it by the colon. And we're going to take one. And we can also make sure that that worked properly. Um, so we can console.log and be like index that is being changed. And we can just double check that this is working. So let's go ahead and throw update choice text on here and throw it inside of here. So update choice text. Let's go ahead and check this out. I never put the index in there. Okay, we'll put an index. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and fix this. Flash banged again. Undefined. Oh, you know what? I think it's name. I think I put it as name, not ID. Yeah, let's change this to name. And this should be, yep, that's fine. Let's try again. So if we type zero, one, two, three. So we can get the index out of that. So that's good. That's good to go. We have the index. And what we're going to do now is we'll just go ahead and dispatch. Um, do we not have a dispatch setup? We do not. Let's go ahead and set up use dispatch. So we'll go ahead and say uh, import use dispatch from React Redux. And we'll say uh, const dispatch is an app dispatch equal to use dispatch maybe i can't type use dispatch this is going to be simple we're going to just go ahead and dispatch and we're going to dispatch updates i could type updates and pull and this takes in the index which we can just pass and then this needs a choice text which would be e.target dot value if i could actually do this right target dot value index is so we're going to say index is plus index now convert into a number so now hopefully fingers crossed if we type into the different things it should create them for us and it should update the state so let's go ahead and refresh so if we click on our poll we say hello okay that's good an emmer produced a new value and modified a draft. Yep. So that's what I figured happened. So I figured that was going to happen. Let's go ahead and go back to our post slice and let's do this. Let's go back up to this and update poll. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say post is equal to JSON dot parse and JSON dot stringify. And we're going to pass in the state dot current post. And then we're going to say poll is equal to post dot poll. We're going to say choices is equal to pull dot choices. And let's see if that gets rid of the air. Let's refresh. Please work. I don't want to debug this all day. Okay. Okay. Let's see choices. There's two choices. So it looks good. Let's get rid of all these console dot logs. Um, it should return the state. Everything should be working. So anytime date dot post dot current post poll changes. It's already printing it. So let's double check to see if this is changing in any way. So if we go into our poll and come in here. Okay, choices, two choices. Yep, it's working, do this. Now here's the one that I'm concerned about. If we add one and we type, so now there's three arrays and now you can see our choices. And if we add one more, do this. And now we can go ahead and see four choices. You guys can't see this, unfortunately. Four choices, they're all there. This one's obviously behind because it's old, uh, but that's good to go. So now all of our choices work and we're filling out our poll. Now what we'd like to do is, let's go ahead and set up the days, minutes, hours type of thing. So let's go ahead and say uh, const and we'll say time and set time. And this is gonna equal to use state. And let's just make this an object if we can. So it's gonna have days, which is a, technically it's a string. This will have days of type string, hours of type string. I don't know if that's gonna work. And we'll say minutes of type string. And this will, yep, okay. We'll do this, set the use state. 
So days will start out as one, except it's a string, we'll start out as one. Uh, hours will start out as zero. And minutes will start out as zero. So this is gonna set up for the, the drop down. So now whenever we say value, which apparently when I'm setting here, but we can say data, I think. So we say data equal to time dot days, except it doesn't like it because let's see, plus that's fine. Uh, data equal to, then we'll say plus time dot hours. And then data, whoops. And I broke everything, hours. And finally, we'll say data equal to, and then plus time dot minutes. Now, if I could type, if we save, and let's go back into our util, wherever the util is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do zero through one again. So we're going to delete all of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, and get rid of this. And let's go ahead and take a look. So it should start at one. So if we click on poll and like this starts at one, but zero. Now, obviously it's not changing because we also need to do the dispatch, which will set the value as well. And the dispatch, all it's gonna do, if we come back in here, we'll say const is update time E colon react. Did I have a dot there maybe? H, oops, that's not what I want. HTML, I think it's select element, but I'm not 100% sure set uh set time and we're gonna set time to dot 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 time i can't type and then we're going to oh my goodness i have scuffed the heck out of this we'll set time and we're gonna say e dot target dot name dot to lowercase I'm just gonna pass it to lowercase and we're gonna say e dot target dot value and then we're going to pass update time into all of these dispatchers so update time here update time here okay what does this dispatcher expect then so let's go ahead and change this i guess to so name string and value will be string or number or a boolean and that makes this happy and then this is going to say dot 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 time and this is going to say name colon value except it needs to be like this the problem is that the value could be well i guess it doesn't care okay interesting okay this should be minutes selections let's go ahead and import that that's a good catch Oh, you know what? It looks like I never exported it. So let's go back into our feed utils. I spelled it wrong. So let me go ahead and update the spelling of this. So pull minutes selections, copy this and paste it in here and update this. There we go. And that should be good. Oh, it refreshed. I was gonna say, where'd it go? Uh, do this, open up the poll. We can say 59 minutes nine hours and four days or whatever and now all of that date and time is set so now we take this and basically whenever we want to send the poll across we're going to get the date convert to a string and do all of that stuff so now we need to be able to remove the poll and we also should be able to see the post whenever that's there so whenever we remove the poll let's go back into our post slice so we'll say remove poll which is a state in state it doesn't need an action and um let's see i did it wrong this is just gonna say the same thing we did before if state dot current post dot yada 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 if that's the case we're gonna say let post equal to and we'll say state dot current post let and i guess what we could do is i'm gonna say uh post is equal to dot 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 post why do you always do that comma and we'll say poll is undefined because that's an option and then we'll say uh states and we might need to make a copy of that so we might just say uh json dot parse or json dot stringify 
json.parse make a copy of it that way we're not modifying the state directly I did it backwards whoops let's go undo so json.parse and then json.stringify and set this up all right so then we'll say state is equal to dot 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 state and uh current post is post and then we'll just return the state and then if one of those two things aren't generated which they should be but if they're not for some reason that should be fine so let's go ahead and go back into our, our creator we'll go ahead and say const delete pull i want to change it i want to name it something different this is going to do nothing it's just going to dispatch it's going to dispatch remove pull oh we need to export it let's go ahead and export it from our feet our post slice so I'll come down here remove pull and let's import remove pull now i don't know how this is set up but i'm hoping that it's set up to display the pull whenever it's not undefined never add the on click that might help on click uh delete pull now let's try again let it compile Okay, that works fine. Now what happens if I do this? Everything is working fine. Unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.